part of the project, A4. Let's go for a further one out. What do you think? Alright guys, so today we have the A4 from Prodigy Disc. What is it? What does it do? Who should throw it? Well, first off, it is the uh, approach disc. It's in the approach line from Prodigy Disc. Uh, at currently, there is an A1, A2, A3, and A4. And for those that don't know, uh, Prodigy A1, or 1 in general, would be the most stable and then it gets less stable as the numbers go on. So a 4, you would figure it'd be pretty down the stability line uh, to the point of being understable. Well, this is not because it's in their approach lineup. It's going to have good stability. What do I mean by good stability for you? Okay, so if none of you've tried, or if you're looking to try an A4 or and any approach disc from Prodigy, and you already have seen or tried A1s and A2s, more popular disc in the lineup, uh, the four is going to be the one I actually recommend as your first approach disc. The four has just enough stability that it's not going to be stupid stable. And what I mean by stupid stable is, you know, some of those A1s out there, you know that A1 steak sauce, I see you in the comments. Some of those A1s out there are just really stable. I'm talking like Gator Justice stable, right? Uh, this A4 is going to be less stable. It's going to be more of a beat up A2 or a, a Cenus harp, those kind of discs. What you're gonna really love using the A4 for is any of those backhand shots that say you just don't trust your putter. You don't trust your putter, it's, there's too much wind, but you also don't want to throw your gator or your justice or your meat hook, right? Because you just don't want to go left either. You don't want to hit the ground and be skipping away. The A4 is going to be that disc that you can rip on it and know that it's going to have the stability to fight through the wind. It might drift right just a little, but it's going to come back and finish softly but still stay stable and finish back left. I got some footage here of throwing it on just a slight Anheuser and even throwing on just a slight Anheuser. It's got just enough stability to fight back and finish, but not finish super strong. Where this disc excels the most is on sidearm. You sidearm guys out there, you are going to love this disc. You need to go get you one of these right now. What am I using this disc for? Anywhere up to that 300 foot mark, if I want to throw a straight shot and not finish hard right, so on that forehand, I don't want it to come in and finish hard. I want to throw a nice straight shot. Doesn't matter if there's a headwind or tailwind. I want to throw it nice and straight, flat, and it's going to come in and it's going to finish really soft for me. Uh, I can throw this in where I would normally throw my A2, and I'd have to like get over on top of my A2 and throw it on the slide Anheuser and come back. I can just throw this guy straight and flat and know that I can get the same distance with a lot less effort and I don't have to worry about, oh, I didn't throw it hard enough. It doesn't matter if it's slow arm speed or high arm speed, this disc is going to excel and that's why the approach series is made. Uh, the most popular right now is the A2. Uh, all the top pros and just about anybody that bags Prodigy throws an A2. Even guys that don't bag Prodigy throw an A2 just because of how, you know, it's that justice type stability to it out of the box. Uh, but again, I would recommend anybody that wants to try an A series, if you've never tried one before, or if you want to come back and try it again, definitely take a look at the Prodigy A4 first. Then, if it's just not stable enough for you and you want something a little bit more, I highly recommend jumping up to the A2. Alright guys, so that is the Prodigy A4. Uh, this, like I said, this one was given to me, sent from to me from Michael Gibney with Prodigy Disc. Thank you again for hooking me up with this to do a review on. And since it was sent to me, that means I'm going to send it right back out to you guys. And to do that, all you have to do is be a subscriber as always. We're getting really close to that thousand mark, man. So close. Uh, and comment down below, have you tried an A-Series Disc? And if so, which one? And if you have not, which one do you want to try? All right, guys. As always, like the video. 
If you want to see more reviews from Prodigy Disc, that's what drives the videos. You guys know the likes drives the videos. Uh, subscribe, be a subscribers, and automatically get notified about these giveaways. And uh, always, guys, thank you again. Take it easy.